ERC20 tokens are built on top of the Ethereum network instead of running on their own blockchain like other coins. This means to receive these tokens, you always need to use your Ethereum address. You can find a list of thousands of ERC20 tokens on our supported coins page, but in fact there are many more and they are all supported by Trezor devices and can be managed via Trezor Suite. If you are not sure if the token is ERC20, have a look at an explorer such as Etherscan. Simply type in the name of the token in the search bar and if you find it, you can send it to your Trezor. Let's have a look at Trezor Suite now. Connect your Trezor as usual and log in with your PIN. Remember to always type in the correct passphrase, if enabled, to enter your hidden wallet, or click standard wallet if you are not using a passphrase. Have a look at our passphrase videos for a more detailed explanation. Click accounts and select your Ethereum account. Make sure you have Ethereum enabled in your settings. Click receive, show full address, and confirm on your device. Copy the address and simply use it on an exchange or any other Ethereum wallet where your tokens are stored as a destination address to send those tokens to your Trezor Ethereum wallet address. Make sure you are using the ERC20 network. Some exchanges and wallets will give you an option to use other networks, such as Binance Smart Chain or others. However, these transactions cannot be displayed in Trezor Suite. Sending tokens out of your Trezor is very simple too. In this case, select the option Send, fill in your destination address and select the token from the drop-down menu and fill in the amount you wish to send. Remember, for every ERC20 token transaction you will need to pay the transaction fee to the miners to confirm your transaction. This fee is always paid in Ethereum, which means you need to have some Ethereum on the same address where your tokens are to pay this fee. Suite will set this fee automatically for you, but you can also set a custom fee if you want your transaction to go through faster. You can use a tool such as Etherscan to see the current recommended fees. Then click the review and send button and confirm the transaction on your device as always. After that, you will see the pending transaction in your transaction history. In case you set the fee too low and the transaction is slow, you can use bump fee feature to raise the fee. This will speed up your transaction. Again, you need Ethereum on your account to do this. Some things to remember. Always make sure you are using your Ethereum receive address. Do not confuse it with Ethereum Classic. This is a different coin on a different network. Never send your tokens to the smart contract address of the token, this is not your receive address, and in this case you will lose your coins if you do so. Always use the ERC20 network for the transfers to see your tokens in Trezor Suite. In case your transaction fails, it is often because of the low gas fee. This fee will not be returned to your wallet, you are paying for computation regardless of whether your transaction succeeds or fails. Even if it fails, the miners have to validate and execute your transaction. So, keep that in mind when sending ERC20 transactions. Sometimes when you interact with Ethereum and ERC20 tokens, you can encounter random tokens appearing in your wallet. These are scam airdrops and happen frequently. Most of the time they are scammers who are attempting to fish your account information. While it is true that sometimes airdrops are legitimate and can be useful, it is important to do research on these tokens to understand what is real and what is just another relentless scammer. A good rule of thumb is that if the token appears as a website address like the one here, it's a scam. The scam attempts to get you to visit the site and connect your wallet where they can then gain access to your account and steal your funds. Never visit or interact with such websites. Since there is no other way to send the tokens to an exchange or wherever else they need to stay where they are. These tokens are visible in your wallet but stored on the blockchain, so they cannot do any real harm, as long as you don't interact with them. Hopefully, this video helped you understand ERC20 tokens in Trezor Suite. Thanks for watching.